And there is something that happened to me when I was 18 years old. And my life took a strange direction, just for a little bit. Because I realized, you know what? There's something I want to be with my life that's not the norm. There's something that's off the beaten path. I want to be a fucking criminal. I'm not kidding you guys. I wanted to do crimes. I woke up one day, 18 years old, and I say, I had a craving. And I said, you know what I have to do? I have to do a B and E. I said, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing a B and E. And if you're looking at me going, Dane, what is that? Bacon and eggs? No. Although I could always do bacon and eggs. That's fucking delicious. Who doesn't want to do a bacon and egg special? I'm talking about a B and E breaking and entering. And I wanted to do one. Yes. Ah, fans of crime. I made the decision. I call my buddy Robert. I call Robert up because when you do a B and E, you need an accomplice. And the key is you always need to bring somebody with you who does not want to go. They have to hassle you the whole time and make it difficult to enjoy the B and E. I called Robert. I go, hey, dude, <clears throat> check it out, bro. We're going on a, uh, an adventure tonight. And he's like, this, what? I don't like adventures, what? And I said, I need you to drive and come with me. I'm doing a B&E. And, and he goes like this, no. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of doing, Dave, no. No. I said, dude, you come over, pick me up right now, or our fucking friendship is over forever. I will not even talk to you in the next life. Come over, click. Robert comes over. Next thing you know, we're in the car. I say, drive around the community. I want to find the perfect house to do my B slash E. And the whole time driving, he's like, don't do, don't do this. Why would you even do this? I said, because I need to. It's a quest, and I'm on it. You're going to get in some fucking trouble, dude. I know. I'm looking for trouble. Now pull over around this corner. We looked around, not that house. Nope, that one feels weird. And then I finally saw it, boom. That's the house right there, Robert. That's the house, I'm doing a B and E. And he looked at me and he said, I don't know what that means, but I'm doing it. He pulls about 16 blocks away from the target. Because you always have to park way too fucking far. And then you have to go through backyards, right? You have to go, you have to hop over, you know, fences and shit. It's part of the fun, right? And you always have to get caught on that one chain link fence where you're like, fuck you, what the fuck, dude? My fucking shirt. Dude, my, this is my favorite shirt. Well, you shouldn't be wearing your favorite shirt on a fucking B and E. Wear your second favorite shirt, you dunce. Now we get up to the house, okay? We get to the house, and there it is right in front of me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my heart was right? I have an irregular heartbeat, that's what that is. It's a hole in the, you know. My hands are a little clammy, and I start walking up that walkway. I'm ready to do it. I'm going right through that fucking front door. I turn back to Robert, I go, you ready? You ready to do this? And he goes, wait, wait, wait. Dude, I hear a car. And I said, uh, yeah, the world is full of them. You're going to hear a lot of them for the rest of your life. If you hear a humpback whale, that's weird. Tell me that shit. Then I'll stop. Guys, I get to that door. I'm three steps away, right? My heart is racing. I step up one, two, three, and I stop. Okay, I stop for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know if I can do this. Then I said, I got it. And I kicked that fucking door off its hinges. That door flew into the darkness of that home. <laughs> and I felt fantastic. But here's what happened. The second my foot connected, <sighs> and that door flew in, I took two steps into that house, and I realized at that very moment, I did not want to do a B and E. <laughs> no, I just wanted to kick a door in. <laughs> I was still so jazzed up about the door kick. There was a closet right there. I kicked that shit in. Woo! I had to. And then I turned, I turned to Robert, and I go like this, hey, let's get out of here. And he goes like this, yeah, yeah. And we left, we cheesed it out of there. I left, I'll tell you guys right now, I never took anything. 
I took two steps in, did the two door kicks, and I fucking booked. But I have to be honest with you right now, from time to time I would think about it. And even now, today, I think about it. And you know what? I should have stolen some shit. Yeah, no, no, not because it's cool to steal or anything like that. Because I start thinking about that family. I think it's psych psychologically what I have done to this family. <laughs> you follow me? They're going to come home, right? After a long night, they're having some dinner and they see that their front door has been kicked in. And husband, wife, young adopted son, David, they're... What is... happened? And the father always has to get angry out of love at the family. Wait, wait here, wait here, wait! I said, wait, wait, wait! And you know, we went in that house and he looked around. And you know that family, every few months, for years, from time to time, whatever it is that they're doing, they would just stop. Stop and look at each other and go, what the fuck did they take? I want to know! What the fuck did they take from this house? If we can't figure it out this year, I want a divorce. I want a divorce. And why did he kick the closet door off? There's not even a locking mechanism on there. Why would he kick the... Why? That just fucked them up psychologically. You know, like, even the batteries on the remote die, and they're like, do you think they took the batteries? Do you think that's it? They replaced the good batteries with shitty, half-ass batteries. Do you think that's it? Ah! I want to know, or I want a divorce. And I mean it. That must have driven that family crazy. If nothing else, you know what I should have done? Broken in and at least left something that wasn't there before, you know? That would help them. They'd be like, nothing, nothing seems to be missing, but there is a lava lamp here now. So. Then it gets a little deeper. I start thinking about it going, you know what I should have done? I should have staked out that house. And every few weeks, I should have waited until that family went out to dinner or a movie or whatever it is. And I should have gotten out of my car, went up on that porch, <laughs> and left. They come home, the husband's like, another fucking door! What is going on? That is the ninth goddamn door this year. What is happening? Now he's trying to fuck with me, right? I'm putting up beads. He puts beads this time. 1970s beads, but what do I do? I run up there when they leave. <laughs> and I run away again. Husband comes home, the fucking beads! He took the beads! He stole the fucking beads! He's probably watching us right now. Are you watching? Are you watching, door kicker? Are you happy? Are you happy? Do you see what you're doing in my life? Ah! I want a divorce because of you! I did my best. I did not fucking touch me. Are you watching, door kicker? I am. I stole the beads. He stole the beads. Yeah. <laughs>